Shalom Aleichem and Baruchim Abayim. Moshe Lenyaro here speaking under the auspices of Kolel Baruch Avat Yisrael in Southern California and Shai Tzion in Brooklyn, New York. This week we'll be reading Pashat Kitisa, the tragedy of the golden calf, how ben, Bnei Yisrael had fallen to such a low. At the end of the episode, Moshe Rabbeinu declares, Mi Lamonai Who is for God after me? And the tribe of Levi took the call and joined Moshe. My Roshiva, Zechat Sarik Livracha, Ripsem Chowasman, related that in the last years of the Chavetz Chaim, Rabbi Schwab, Zechat Sarik Livracha, of the German community, came to visit and ask advice from the Chavetz Chaim. And at the, end of the, at the end of the discussion, the Chavetz Chaim asked, tell me, do you know the difference between you and I? And Rabbi Schwab was bewildered. And the Chavetz Chaim continued, many generations ago, when Moses made the declaration, Mi Lashem Eli, my forefathers followed. They heeded the call Yours did not. But know that in the future you may hear another call. Take advantage. The Simcha used to say, when opportunity knocks, take advantage. Open the door and grasp that opportunity. If I could take the license to say over the ancient fable. A young man was having a very hard time with his panasa. His mazal was very bad. He went to the chacham of the city. Chacham, tell me, what should I do? And the chacham advised him, take your belongings and go into exile. As our sages tell us, mishaneh makom, mishaneh mazal, and then you'll find your good mazal. And the young man did as he was commanded, as he was advised, and went on his way. As he was traveling, he met an old, sick wolf. And the wolf said, young man, where are you going? And he told him, I'm going to seek my mazal. The wolf said, please, when you seek your mazal, ask about me. What should I do to get better? And the young man said, certainly, I will ask for you. He continued on his road, on the road. He came to a wonderful, beautiful farm. The farmer beckoned him to come in. He did come in. And the farmer enjoyed his company. Afterwards, he told him, why are you rushing? Where are you going? He says, I must look for my mazal. And the farmer said, please remember me and ask about this tree which is in the center of my farm, which has delectable, delicious fruit on one side, and the other side is bereft. Nothing. Ask, why is that? The lad said, yes, I shall, and continued. He continued on his way. He came to a large city, and he was invited in, and he walked in. And by chance, the king and his entourage was walking through the city, and the king asked this visitor, please come be my guest. And he was. And the king found this man intriguing and spoke to him. The young man said, please, I must leave. I'm looking for my mazal. And the king said, please do me a favor. When you find your mazal, ask about me. I have this beautiful, prosperous city, but my words are usually ignored. People don't give me any respect. And the lad said, yes, I shall ask. And he continued on his way. In the middle of the road, he sees a man of stature. And the man tells him, I'm here to tell you to go back. Your mazal has changed. And no question, it was Eliyahu Navi. And the man said, thank you. And he went back. But before I start my travels back, he told Eliyahu the story of the wolf 
the story of the farmer and the story of the king. Eliyahu said, go back to them and tell them as follows. Tell the king that he's not a king. She is a queen. And for her to gain the proper respect, she must marry. And then her city will be ruled properly. Tell the farmer that under the tree lies a treasure. Dig up the tree and you'll find that treasure and live on that wealth. And third, tell the wolf, eat the first idiot which comes by and you will be saved. And the lad said, certainly I will. And he went back and he came to the city and again he was invited in. He comes in and he sees the king and the king said, did you ask for me? And he says, sure, I did. And what was the answer? The answer was that you're a queen, you are not a king. Marry, and everything will run smoothly. And the queen was taken aback. He said, it's true. And you are the person I'm infatuated. Please marry me. And the person looks at him and says, I am looking for my mazal. My mazal has changed. I will not stay with you. He continues on his road. And he goes to the farmer. And he tells the farmer, let us dig under the tree and we'll find a treasure. And then the tree will continue growing on both sides, but you will have this treasure. And they found a glorious treasure filled with gold and jewels. And the farmer said, where are you running to? I'm an old man. I have no children. Stay with me and we'll share the wealth. And when I die, it will all be yours. And the man said, no, no, I'm looking for my myself. He went further. And he saw the wolf and he told the wolf all that occurred. And the wolf said, and what was my verdict? He says, eat the first idiot which comes by. And my friends, all that is left are a few bones of the